This is the um, next uh, installment on the problem with the end play on the uh, rear end of the Leica mobile. Um, just this quick review. Uh, what I discovered, uh, I'm gonna. These are the new axles that are about 10 years old. Came from Model Works. So I'm gonna assemble um, this so you see what we're talking about. That's the inner bearing. This is the um, outer race for the differential. The inner race, I meant to say. And this is the outer race, which is uh, a brass bushing that gets clamped on the two halves of the differential. And this is the axle gear. And um, so when everything is tight, what happens is you have this play in here, which... Um, and you can't take it up with the outside nut uh, that's on the wheel. So what I machined was I made these shims. I made two, one for each axle. There's the other one. And um, the reason why I put a taper on it like that was so it wouldn't interfere with the bearing as far as lubrication goes. And on this side, what I did was I made, machined it bigger than the, uh, slightly bigger than the, inner bearing and smaller and a little bit smaller than this this bushing let me take it apart and i'll show you and there was a reason for doing that if you look at it it's smaller just slightly smaller than this bushing and the reason why that was done and you'll see in a second so now this this race goes into here sits up against there there's room for lubrication the next piece goes in place this goes next and finally, the axle gear goes in place. And uh, let's get it in. Okay, so now I don't have any play. The only thing that you see moving there is you'll see the, um, the outer cage moving once I pull it down tight. And the reason why this, this uh, particular shim was machined bigger in diameter because they gave you washers. They gave you, uh, when they sent the kit they gave you they gave you these washers here for shims but the problem was it's slightly smaller than this diameter so uh, I'll show you what happens when you use those washers and if I put those washers in place like so I'm just going to do one I don't need two to demonstrate this and then put this inner race in place And then put this outer one in place. What happens is the the bushings go over the top of the washers. See it? It goes over the top. So what happens is the differential can slide back and forth, and it's not supposed to. It's supposed to stay centered. So that was the reason behind me machining these larger spacers right there so that goes against the uh, the bearing and of course you don't use those sh shims anymore inner inner bushing outer bushing and you notice it can't go past it it stops and then of course the outside gear so now we probably got about a thousandth clearance in here if that so now what happens is when you draw the axle wheel nut at the wheel end, which is at the far end of the shaft, which is that end of the shaft, um, this bearing will not float. And you, the problem is you can't tighten that outside nut enough. And I'll explain that in a second. So let me take this stuff off of here and show you the differences. So that solved that problem, the inner bearing problem. So now we're going to talk about the outer axle and what the differences were between the old and the new. So I'm going to take this axle out and I'm going to show you this is the new axle and these are the original axles that I'm bringing up here that were sent with the car and what I'm going to do to demonstrate this is 
I'm going to reposition the camera. But right now, the two axles are sitting flush on the on the bed of the lathe. And I'm going to bring the camera up so you can see the axles. Now, you can see, let me move it over further. You get a better view. Okay, now you can see the problem. The problem that exists is the new axles, this uh, lip or this edge that the bearing sits on. Let me get that bearing and show you what I'm talking about. Okay. <coughs> this bearing is the outer race. This is the outer race that goes uh, on the outside of the um, axle. So when you slide this bearing in place, it goes there. And what happens is with this here and the other bearing, even without the spacer, when you tighten the nut down on the end of this axle, let me pan up. When you tighten the nut down here, you still have play because it is because of the difference between here and here. So the old axles didn't have that problem because the bearings sat all the way down by almost a quarter inch. And uh, the uh, new axles, and I never noticed it because I wasn't looking for that. The new axles, the problem that you had was, even though you had everything tight and the wheel was on it, and if you didn't think of checking for end plane, disassembled it and put the disc brakes back on it, you wouldn't realize it except in driving it and you get a little wear. And, you know, the, uh, the differential slides back and forth. And then what happens is the axle gear, which is this one right here, the axle gear ends up moving into the spur gears and it tries to hit the two spur gears you know and one is engaged with the other one is is doesn't engage with and what happens it moves across and tries to engage with the uh, other spur gear which is going the opposite direction and you break teeth and that's that's what i believed happened so my next step on this is to put this new axle in the lathe and turn it down to bring this to make the both the same and that will take out the end play. And I will um, show you that when I finish that part of the machining. The uh, first uh, spacer that I made um, right here. Let me get that spacer. This first spacer that I made yeah, probably took about two hours. Because I had to figure out the right taper. The second spacer took, uh, God, probably less than, less uh, about a half an hour. Because I had everything set up. And I had to bore the center out so everything was faster. It's always the first one takes longer and the second one's always faster. So uh, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be machining this, this new axle to that, that dimension. So now when I tighten the nut up, and the reason why this is stepped here was that's when they made a change. Uh, Model Works realized their, their failure was occurring right here. The axles were breaking at this point. So the new ones, what they did was instead of turning it down smaller and have a, the section where the bearing goes on, this is full size axle, the bearing slid on here and then the wheel slid into here. They made everything bigger. So what they did is the new axles, this is the same size as the bearing area. And and it won't break because there's more, more material, if the material is thicker. That was how they solved that breaking problem. So anyway, that's where we're at right now. Uh, this is the next machining, or write this, and then I'll show you that when I finish it, and that should do it.